some sights and sounds from the HSS practice facility where we mic'd up Kenny Atkinson for the first time as head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. It's all about, you know, the work you put in, the belief that you have, and, you know, the guys surrounding you. Single side. Good. Hook. Play. You know, at the end of the day, uh, we got a the whole Brooklyn behind us, you know, uh, coming to the game, supporting us. Uh, we got our families to represent the organization, so we definitely got to compete for everyone, including ourselves. Here we go. Whatever you guys want out of it. Here we go. Pick. You wake up and you look forward to coming here, getting the work in, and being in the trenches together. Okay. Got to be there, Randy. Be there sooner, Randy. When it comes to Coach Kenny Atkinson, man, I mean, he's my guy, man. I mean, he's someone that um, that I can just say I, I go to war for any day. Hey, so, hey, let's talk about this, Luis. We play this like a normal possession. He's a real cool coach. I mean, he's a real good guy. He tells you like it is. I mean, he's not going to sugarcoat anything to you. He tells you what you need to work on, what, what, what you struggle at. And he also tells you what you do well. They don't do speed skating in Coney Island, do they? He, he loves development. He loves to see the growth in guys. And it's like, that's what you want. Offense, working on moving it. Spread on red. Pass, get back, attack. You know, that's what you want to be around. You want to see guys that are like in the gym, like he's running off screen and rolls, passing it. Uh, he's, he's active and, and you, you love that in a coach and, and him to be so engaged and, you know, have so much, you know, passion for us in the game. Uh, it's like, yo, we're willing to, we're willing to put it on the line for you. Like you're willing to come out here and, and work and sweat with us. We're willing to put it on the line for you. One more, you good? One more game. One through four is red, switch, five at center field. Last game. Um, right now, our expectations or our goals are very day to day. So how do we be better today than we were yesterday? How do we ingrain our culture a little bit more today than it was yesterday? Uh, Jeremy, certainly appreciate you sticking around to be here because I know how important it is to speak to these fans. And, and what made Brooklyn an attractive destination for you? Uh, just a chance to be a, a point guard, a starting point guard, play for Kenny. Obviously, we have a relationship, and I just feel like this organization, um, what Sean's done, bringing in a new vision. It's a blank slate in a lot of ways, so I'm excited for the future. To me, it's, it's very interesting, you know, at every step of the journey when it seems like there's a fork in the road, um, it seems like God always opens up one door and makes it very clear. And it's always interesting the way things happen. I remember I was on a conference call right before I signed with, I had my family, I had my agents, I had uh, the people that work for me. There's like 11 of us on this call together to really talk about where I should sign. And if you had asked us that like 24 hours earlier, um, one, it would not have been unanimous. And two, I don't even think most people would have suggested me to come here. But after that call and after everything that went through the way it did, um, all 11 people said, I think you should go to Brooklyn. I can tell you if it wasn't for Kenny, I would not even have considered coming, to be honest. In many ways, he was the only reason why I was even keeping Brooklyn as one of the potential landing spots, like 90% of the way through the process. It wasn't until I actually met with everybody else and learned what they were doing and saw how they wanted this to go that other factors started to factor in besides just Kenny. Good shot, Brooke. Hey, stay there, stay there, stay there. Both you, both you, both you. Here we go, run it back. Here we go. I think for me, I've gone through a lot of different things. I've, I've been unexpectedly hurt by certain relationships. And so for me, um, I really trusted Kenny and, and trust isn't something that I'm great at these days. You know, we would have dinner together. He always kept up with my games. He would send me texts sometimes saying, hey, watch your game last night. This is what I think or whatever. And so those things meant a lot to me and it showed that he genuinely cared about me. And that's a big reason why um, I kept looking at Brooklyn.
you know, I just turned 28, and I, this is my seventh season with six teams. So um, finally to have some stability is what I wanted out of this year's free agency. I actually care about my home now because I know I'm going to be there longer than like seven months. You know, I'm doing research on this community, you know, Brooklyn, and, and you know, what are they going through as a community? And, you know, there's gentrification issues and all different things. Like, I just want to make this like my home. I want to invest in them and I want to invest in this team, the city, and uh, just be a big part of it because that's just something that I haven't had and, and something I've really missed.